a big feature is transferring AR credits within a customer across jobs. So let me explain what that means. So let's say, let me get out of this invoice here and let me go into the customer center. So let's say for example, that I have, uh, this is a good example here. So let's say I have a customer that has an outstanding balance in one job, okay? So you notice that there's an outstanding balance on one job and then there's an overpayment on a separate job, okay? Now you, you see that in the top, there's the net of the two. The problem is that traditionally, um, if I go into this invoice, okay, and I click on apply credits, traditionally, so this is before the 2018 upgrade, traditionally, it would not show you a payment that was applied to a different job. See, we are currently in, the, in a job called second home. Right, that's the current job that we're working on, second home. And the overpayment is in a different job called remodel. So the new feature, essentially, it's being able to view uh, payments that are sitting on another job because you received it to the other job, but you received an overpayment or maybe they paid you and then you avoided the invoice. Whatever situation may have uh, cost a overpayment or a credit of accounts receivable on the on a different job now you can actually see it here so you get visibility across from it but the key thing here is the mechanism of how it applies so i'm going to go ahead and click on done show you how that works and this is the new feature here it actually says you're about to transfer credits across jobs so it's actually letting you know that this is something new this is something different this is not a normal thing it's saying you're about to uh, transfer credits at front jobs and it actually tells you that there's a there's a set of journal entries and they found out how kind of takes you to the help screen, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So when I click on yes, it's important to know that it, it works perfectly, it works beautifully, it applies to it, but the way it applies to it is through a journal entry. Now, let me go into the chart of accounts here, and there is a, I'm gonna go ahead and enable my inactive accounts because by default, it will uh, create a new account called account for credit transfer. So QuickBooks creates an other asset account called account for credit transfer. It hides it. And then inside of it, you're going to see two journal entries. You're going to see one journal entry that uh, debits the accounts receivable. So searing it out. Okay. So it debits the accounts receivable uh, in this side to the to AR. And then it credits to this new account credit transfer account. And notice that it it, it uses the job, the original job, where there was an overage in there. So it, it creates that and, and it uses this account for credit transfer essentially as a, as a bridge account. So it creates this journal entry and then it creates a follow-up journal entry on the exact same day that is in, in reverse order. So now it's going to credit the accounts receivable and it's going to add it now to uh, the new job. So it uses a, a, a bridge account or a clearing account. The same way we, would, we have done this in the past manually, how we transfer credits in the past, but now it does it all uh, automated. Now, the other thing I really love about this is, and this is very new, if I try to delete this and I hit OK, I get an error message that I've never seen before. I actually never seen quick uh, into it use this language on a warning message. It says, we don't recommend doing this because it's going to mess up uh, your balances. But the best part is it says, please ensure that it has been verified by an accountant to make sure your adjustments are correct. I've never ever seen any warning message in the entire QuickBooks ecosystem where it actually suggests the customer to don't do anything until you ask your accountant. And that deserves a clap you know, from an accountant's perspective. That deserves a clap. Wonderful, good job. Into it, telling customers that they need to ask an accountant for help when uh, when they're doing crazy things like deleting a journal entry that was transferring balances from one place uh, to the next. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. It's really not that, uh, not that complex. I mean, it's something that I think for most people would just think that that should, that should have been there already, that the, the capacity to move uh, credits across jobs should have been there already, but you know, it's an improvement nonetheless.